Okay guys, welcome to the video. Today we're going to be talking about camera gear, um, new versus used, what's the best route for you, and how priced it's going to be. So let's jump into it, and we're going to go over that. Let's go. Okay guys, so when I was looking into getting into photography, I was watching some of these guys like Peter McKinnon, Matty Hapoya. Casey Neistat, some of these guys, and I was thinking it wouldn't be that hard to start making some of this content and get into it. Obviously, I wouldn't be on the Peter McKinnon level or some of these big creators, but uh, I'd be able to get going. I had no idea how much it would cost to get started. I thought it wouldn't be too bad to get a new camera, some lenses, some audio equipment, and then maybe some lighting. I didn't think it'd be that much. Looking at some of their content, looking at Peter McKinnon, Matty Hapoya, Casey Neistat, watching some of these guys and what they were creating, I thought, wow, that'd be, that'd be sweet. I can get started, start making some awesome content of my own, and grow to that level. I had no idea how much it was going to cost. That's why you're going to see like throughout this video that it is pretty expensive, that those things add up really quickly. A new camera, a lens, maybe another lens. <laughs> some uh, audio equipment, lighting, all that stuff just, just compounds super quickly. And especially if you want the good stuff, if you want some of that good stuff, it's gonna just stack up super fast. But like I was saying, as I was watching these content creators, I was noticed that they were using sliders, I kind of learned a little bit more about gimbals, um, lenses, aperture, lighting, all these things. And the more I learned about their equipment, the more I started to research it, and then these they are spending a lot in equipment. I had no idea that you could spend 10 grand on a lens. I had no idea that a good camera body was gonna cost anywhere from two to $6,000. I had no idea. So as I was learning and watching these content creators like Peter McKinnon, these guys just blow up and make these amazing pictures, videos, this, just this content that blew my mind. I had no idea how much they were spending on equipment. But through looking at other people's content, and researching more and more, I actually was able to DM a few people um, and they got back to me and they told me some of the routes that they were going and ways that uh, I could get awesome gear for a lot less and still have quality. That was my biggest concern was I wanted to make sure that if I was investing this money that I was getting good quality that was going to last me for a long time. And that's what I want to pass on to you guys. I feel like there's a lot of good equipment that we can get through the used chains, through these other outlets that uh, we didn't know were there. So I'm going to go through that a little bit today on what I did and uh, maybe we can help some of you guys. Um, you don't have to buy new for it to be good. Kind of like you have that mentality when you're growing up and you got those hand-me-downs, right? From your older brothers and sisters, it's not the case with this. If you do it the right way, you're going to get awesome equipment, you're going to get good guarantees with it, and you're also going to get the performance that you're looking for. The way that I went about it was through Amazon Fulfillment. Amazon has a great return policy. Before I get into that, I want to talk about some of the perks of buying used as to new. So first off, it's an obvious one. Buying used, you're gonna pay a lot less than if you were to buy it new. You're gonna get awesome equipment that works really well, and you're gonna pay a fraction of what you would pay if it were new, just, you know, straight out of the box, you're breaking that, that plastic, you know, as you're opening that iPhone case. That's what I'm talking about. I mean, you sacrifice that moment of happiness for the long term and then protecting the, the bank. So the second thing is, Amazon has an amazing return policy. It's super easy to return your stuff through Amazon and they guarantee it. So let's say that you get it and it's not exactly what you thought it was, it wasn't what they promised it would be. It's super easy to return that and Amazon makes it that way. Great policy, great company. That's the way I went and I feel like it's a good way for you guys to go too. And then the last thing, these products are like new. A lot of them are just opened out of the box, put back in and then shipped back to Amazon. So majority of the time you're getting a product that is brand new or barely used. This stuff is new equipment. It is awesome, it's cared for, it's quality, and you guys are getting it for an awesome deal. The next thing I want to talk about is something that everybody has. It's your typical fears with buying through fulfillment or buying used. So the first fear that people have is that the equipment won't function as well as if I bought it brand new. If I'm the first person to use it, that's the only way it's going to work and perform the way that I want it to. Not the case, guys. First fear is performance, functionality, making sure that it does meet your standard. I'll tell you right now, 
it's it's worked well for me and I think it really will work well for you. One of the other fears that a lot of people have is that the product just won't come at all. <laughs> when you're spending thousands of dollars and you're making a large investment like that, it is scary to you know just expect it to come in the mail and just be sitting in your mailbox when you get home. I've had a really good experience with it. Luckily I have great neighbors and they don't steal my stuff, but yeah, I mean, the majority of it, if you're spending a certain amount, I know they make you sign for it. They won't just leave it on your doorstep. Okay guys, the last fear that a lot of people have is the return. What if I have to return this? What if I don't like it? What if it doesn't perform and I have to go through this big old hassle of returning it through Amazon? I don't know how to do that. It sounds like a pain. Uh, I just rather not. If it comes and for whatever reason you're not stoked on it, it doesn't work well, um, the problems you're having with it, the return policy is super easy. You just go through your email, um, submit a thing saying you're going to return it, you just go through the checklist, it's literally just filling out a form, um, you, then it will email you a receipt. If you take it to USPS, um, they scan that code and you ship it. Uh, you're going to have to pay a few bucks for shipping. Um, I, the last item I had to return it was like $3. It wasn't a big deal at all. So Amazon, for real, they're amazing. Buy your stuff off there because they're going to guarantee it. It's going to come. And if you have issues with it, you can return it. It's no big deal. If you guys are buying online, make sure that you're doing your due diligence. If you're using eBay, Amazon, uh, Walmart, whatever it might be, just make sure that uh, you know what you're getting into and then it's a trust in sight as well. I think that it's a great way to go. I honestly do. It's been awesome for me. I think it would be a good thing for you guys too. I just know Amazon. I've used it for a long time and it's been awesome. Their return policy is great. Their mailing is awesome. The equipment that I've gotten has been guaranteed and been safely delivered. I've had a really good experience with it. Literally all of my gear is used and it's it's been everything that they said it was. I got a lot of equipment. It's all used, I got it off of Amazon, I had a good experience. I feel like that's gonna be the same for you guys. I would highly suggest it to everyone. If you're looking at saving a couple bucks so that you can stretch your dollar a bit further, get more equipment, maybe saving up for a couple lenses instead of for just one, I think it's a good route to go. The cameras that I use, the lenses I use, everything that I have is off of Amazon and I bought it used. I, I really think that's a good bet for you guys. I think that it would work well for you, especially if you like me and you like to save some money and uh, buy a little bit more for your money. But like I said, Try it for yourself, see what works best for you. I know used for me was the way to go. Maybe new is the way that you should go because you feel the most comfortable with that. If that's the case, just do it. Do what's best for you. Ultimately, it's up to you guys, whatever you think is best. For me, used is the way to go. Put it in. It worked out for me. I bought all of my equipment used. Every bit that I have, I bought used off Amazon. I didn't have to return any of it. Actually, it was all awesome. Did super well, performed the way I wanted it to. I want to thank you guys for watching the video. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, let me know. Put them in the comments below and I'll get back to you guys on it. Let me know how it goes. If you guys order something used, uh, that'd be cool. I'm going to link all my stuff below so you know what camera equipment I have, what I bought off Amazon, and uh, maybe it'll work for your gear too. So if you have any questions, let me know. We'll see you guys.